not a game, it's a red skin. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay from Brother Cousins Sway Reviews. And that's right, I'm back with another one. Today, I'll be reviewing MMS 559, Ray and Dio from Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker from Hot Toys. Let's check her out. Okay guys, here's everything that comes with Ray, and oh my god, this thing is almost a DX. I've never seen this many accessories in a, in a release in a very long time. Actually, I would say the last figure I saw that had this, this many accessories was Hellboy. So yeah, I think huh, these two figures this year would be Hellboy and Ray would be the figures that came with the most accessories. So we got to remember that at the end of the year. Um, but anyway, here's everything she comes with. <laughs> Damn. And this is a lot. First up, we have her bow staff right here and Ray's trusty weapon. And just look at the detail on that. You can kind of see where they pulled this part off to make her lightsaber. That is really cool. Look at the detail on that. That is just phenomenal. That is just great. Look at that. I have the original Ray um, release and I can't remember the uh, staff being this detailed. I have to go back and take a look at it to do a comparison. But uh, this thing looks great. That. Um, let's look at uh, her uh, training visor. And that is cool. I believe this flips up. Yep. And that is flips up just like that. So you can put her head in. And that looks very cool. The detailing is very awesome. Really doesn't have much detail on the inside. And it really didn't need to. Um, but it definitely looks good. It has some padding on the inside to protect the face sculpt. Um, which is a real good touch. Um, I may put her in this just for pictures and everything like that, but I don't think I'll have her in this very long. But um, it is cool that they threw that in. Also, you get this little uh, armband right here. I believe this goes up the side of her arm. And I believe that's her left or right arm. I think this goes up her, on her right arm. So you got they got that there for you. You also have the training droid right here. And the training droid looks cool. It could be a little bit more detailed, but for what it is, it works pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, this was real hard to get out the box for some reason. It took me a while to get it out. I don't even know why, but it took me a while to get it out. But there it is. Uh, let's go to, this is almost a two pack because you get Dio and look at Dio. He is little, he is cute. He is awesome. I believe Dio is missing something though. I didn't see it if I if I missed it, but I know he has the little antennas to shoot out right here, which I didn't see in the box. Um, but uh, yeah, that's Dio. I'm sure there's somewhere around in the box, but um, that's weird if they're missing. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I know he had the little antennas. Cause I remember when they were selling the toy, um, when this came out, they were selling the droid when it came out. But uh, the detailing on Dio looks good. You see he's weathered. Paint application is great. No light up features or light up functions. I don't think he had a light up function. I'm not sure how well he stands up. Not well. <laughs> but that's Dio. Um, you also get a stand right here for the, uh, for the droid. This goes with the practice droid so you get that stand there for him you also get this basic ass but cool star wars stand comes with all the star wars figures has the little metal name plate i wish all yeah 
Hot Toys figures had metal nameplates. I don't know why they don't, but it's so elegant with the Star Wars figure. And because she is a female, they give you the grabber right here. Not the crotch grabber, but they give you the waist grabber, which, you know, that makes sense. Um, you got a bunch of hands down here. You see hands, you've seen them all. She got a trigger finger hand. She got lightsaber wielding hands. And she got fisted hands. So we've seen those. Um, you got her back carrier bag. Um, she had this, I believe, when she was uh, about to leave. Uh, I, th I think she went back to Jakku or something like that. And I know Luke came to her and Jedi form. I was like, what the, what the hell are you doing? Um, and this was the bag that she carried with that. Speaking of bags, she has this little wrap right here at the end of the movie that pissed everybody off where she claimed the name Skywalker when she's a Palpatine. I don't know how she's a Skywalker, but she took Luke and Leia's lightsabers and wrapped them in and put them away. It's good that they included it though. It looks real, real good. You know, not much, just the material feels real good. It definitely feels like a real high-end product. Uh, speaking of her blaster, you get her blaster right here. This looks to be the same blaster she came with um, the original release. Maybe it's a little different. Maybe a paint. I think the blue, I think it was actually a little lighter blue right there, but it's pretty much the same, same sculpt. Oh, now, this chick, shouldn't call her a chick, but this young lady, <laughs> this young lady comes with a bunch of lightsabers. Um, you get which was once Anakin's lightsaber her lightsaber which was repaired if you remember what happened in uh, Last Jedi so you have that right there and this is the lightsaber hilt that she can wear from her uh, that clips onto her belt oh, yeah lightsaber hilt that clips onto her belt you get that same lightsaber hilt with the blade and we've seen this before, so we know what it looks like. And not only do we get that lightsaber, we we get Leia's lightsaber. Print, that's right, Princess Leia's lightsaber. And I gotta say, it looks very nice. Speaking of uh, lightsabers, you get her lightsaber and this thing looks great like i was saying you can see where they took it from her base and she just added a wrap to it and made her um her base but she took it from her uh her bow staff and made it into a lightsaber that is real cool and you just look at that and the quality on that looks amazing looks very good you also get blade you also get blades you get the swooshing blade and you get the regular blade right there. And that looks great. And also with this uh, with this lightsaber hilt, as the focus goes in, you also get the opening. So this piece comes off and the little teeth come out of it. As you can see, Stop focusing in on the right thing. Let me put that down. So the teeth actually open up and the blade goes and the blade goes in like so. So yeah, and that fits on that like that. Boom, you get it. And this was a 10 minute segment for just the, assess the accessory. So uh, yeah, she comes with a lot as you can see. So uh, that's all the accessories that come with Ray. And here she is in all her glory, Rey from Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. This figure is breathtaking. This is probably one of the most beautiful figures I've ever seen Hot Toys do. And I know what you guys are saying. You think, you say that about everything. You like everything. And I mean, honestly, that kind of makes sense because why would I buy stuff and review stuff that I don't like? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That wouldn't make any sense. But I can assure you that this figure is so accurate to the likeness of Daisy Ridley till it is completely 
freaky. It is completely spooky. I mean, it looks like we did some honey I strunk the kids type of shit. Seriously, <laughs> this thing is amazing. It is a complete work of art, which most of these figures are works of art, but this right here is, is amazing. It's phenomenal. Okay guys, I wanna show you a close up of this wonderful head sculpt. And that's right, I'm wearing white gloves because the outfit on her is completely white. It's a little, some sections where it's off white, but you don't wanna get this dirty. But just look at that head sculpt. If that's not Daisy Ridley, I don't know who, 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 who it is. That's Daisy Ridley. That is amazing. This is that rare occasion where the head sculpt is just so on point and so accurate till it just doesn't make any sense. This goes in the Hall of Fame with Yondu. It goes in the Hall of Fame with Nebula. And I'm trying to think who else, but right now those are the two that come to mind. So this would be the top three of the best likeness of a head sculpt. I know when a lot of people saw this, they were pissed off. They, oh, she looks like a guy. What's going on? She looks like a dude. Hot Toys improved that, y'all. They improved that tenfold. As we look at the main section of the figure, um, you can, like I was saying earlier, her uh, she's wearing mostly a white outfit, which is why I'm dealing with uh, I'm using white gloves um, touching her. I would suggest you do the same if you're going to be doing some hard posing with her. Wear white gloves when you do it or wear some type of gloves. You don't want to get, you know, your uh, cheesy fingers or uh, Cheetos hands <laughs> on this outfit. You definitely don't want to do that. You want to keep this as you know keep this as pristine as possible but uh her robes look good this well tailored the straps and the belts look great the straps on her arms look good the detailing is all here and it is just great and simply stunning okay we move on to the lower part of the figure you see her uh part of her dress i guess you can call that her dress you can see the hangs from her dress coming down there looking cool J you know that's raised fashion sense and you also see the boots the boots look to be the same they're ray boots you know it's not you know the sculpt is really good it's a really good sculpt but it's not nothing too much different that she wore from the first two movies the previous movies so um it looks good. Um, the color is lighter. I believe in the older boots, they're a little darker. They're lighter here because she's wearing a lighter outfit, which makes sense. Um, once again, Ray's fashion sense. So uh, overall, looks good. All right, guys, it's that time of the video where I get handsy with the figure. White glove edition. All right, guys, I'm not gonna be too, you know, I want, she's very fragile and she's i mean it's such a great figure i don't want to like you know mess it up too much so i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be real sensitive how i you know move the joints on this one but yes the head you get the 360 head swivel of course uh her arms go up of course you get bends there and you do get creases right there in the joint i know that's what you get when you have seeming seamless joints I always say seamless, 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 seamless joints. So you do get crease in there, uh, but we naturally have creases there too. So I wouldn't mind, you know, worry about that too much, but worry about it. Okay, her legs kick up. She kicks up pretty high. Yup, her knees bend. She does have a chest crunch. Not much, but she does have one. And her hands turn like that, her hands turn like that. You know how Hot Toys is. I don't even know why we do this segment. We're not gonna spend that much time on this segment. Just know you can get her into a lot of good poses, a lot of great poses. Not too, nothing's too restricting. Just be aware that these seamless joints will bend. So you don't wanna keep her in poses holding her lightsabers up for too long. 
you know, give it a rest, change her up every now and now and every now and then. And if you're going to have her do, uh, uh, if you're going to have her in a long term pose, you know, do something. You don't exactly have to do a museum pose, but maybe you could do something where her holding a lightsaber out like that, um, like how she was doing on a pose. Uh, in the beginning of the movie in the trailer i think she uh chopped down kylo's kylo ren's uh uh jet i'm sorry his ship um and she had a lightsaber extended out maybe you can do a pose like that where you don't have to you know have these have her arms bent like that because nobody you know everybody wants to keep it perfect so i completely understand that all right guys i want to show you a real quick comparison of the force awakens ray and the rise of skywalker ray and just how in five years paint application and technology has just jumped leaps and bounds over what we used to have um so we're looking at right now we're looking at ray from the force awakens and when this figure came out i thought it was great i thought it looked amazing and fell in love with it and i just thought it was great now we look at which i believe this figure was made in 2016 now we look at 2021 and just look at that it's night and day it doesn't even look like let me move the camera a little bit it doesn't even look like the same person that looks way more like Daisy Ridley than this one does. Way more. It's like night and day. Okay guys, so that's been my review of MMS 559, Rey and Dio from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. On a scale of 1 to 10, I gotta give it a 10. That's right, I'm giving this a 10. This figure is amazing, the likeness to Daisy Ridley is just completely stunning and just immaculate. And all the accessories. They threw everything in the damn box. That's right. They gave us all kinds of like every lightsaber she wielded throughout the movie they gave to us. And the magnetized Dio on the base, real good touch. This figure is simply amazing. Okay, guys, that's my opinion. But let me know yours. Like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And we are out.